I think Maya. She's a, um, a targeter in the CIA. She was recruited right out of school. She's a rock star. I, mean, they, I think they call her a, a, a killer in the movie. She shows up in Islamabad and immediately is put in a situation where she's in over her, her head. She's wearing a really nice suit. She goes into an interrogation and it's using a lot of extreme measures of interrogation that she's not used to. So you immediately then start to see the change in her when she's a little thrown off her element. But she's a fighter, man. I mean, she believes she has a calling for this and she doesn't waste her time with things that would be distractions, distractions to her. She doesn't have a love interest in these movies. And in real life, she didn't. She was focused. She becomes a servant of her work. So close, no matter how far Couldn't be much more from the heart Forever trust who we are And nothing else matters I never opened myself this way Life is ours, we live it our way
of Bin Laden is there. And you're gonna kill him for me. I think the audiences are gonna enjoy the scoop of the story. Every minute, it's like you're learning something new that you're being surprised by it. Uh, but also, what I enjoy most is this character of Maya. I mean, you know, historically, lead characters in film that are women are defined by the men in their lives. They're either a love interest or they're a victim of a man. And Maya's not. She's not really mentored or protected. She's not a victim. She doesn't have any kind of neuroses or any issue. She's just capable and strong and intelligent and she stands on her own. And that is very exciting for me to play because I feel like it represents this generation of women who do stand on their own. It actually represents Catherine Bigelow. So I'm very happy to be 